my name is Marco Santana. I'm from Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. I'm the lead of Tribal Band in West London, and we have been have activity for 15 years now. When I was 15 years old, I joined the summer rec block Timbalada, which Carlinhos Brown was the creator. And today we are holding this event in London to celebrate the life and legacy of this great musician, composer and revolutionary. He's a very great composer and he's a very good musician and a very, a very good creator. He has been creating a couple of instruments. But I see him, more than that, I see him as a black guy who have used the art to change, transform people's life by giving opportunity to people that couldn't be a, a thief, people couldn't be a violent person, become an artist. He transformed people that couldn't be a drug dealer to become an artist. Então nos anos 90, ver um, um Carlinhos Brown com aquela autenticidade, com aquela garra, com aquela fúria, vindo de uma, do, do, do gueto, né? Vindo do gueto. É, de, é, ali estava uma representação brasileira muito forte e ele estava envolvido com, aquele, com, aquele, com aqueles meninos, com aquela, a, com aquela vida ali no Candial. O Carlinhos Brau, ele modificou toda a estrutura que era, foi feita para as pessoas pobres viverem ali e ele fez um, uma mudança radical naquela comunidade para dar dignidade àqueles moradores. Through the music, he created Gate Square, that was the base of where Timbalada play and rehearse and people come to work. But he transformed the whole economy. E teve condições de levar para uma comunidade como Candial, uma comunidade absolutamente pobre e carente, justamente ali ele construir o, uma, uma praça onde ele, aquelas crianças podiam a aprender música, elas, elas, poderiam, elas estariam assim, se libertando de todas as mazelas que haviam no entorno, de toda aquela opressão que havia no entorno para que elas permanecessem naquela, naquela condição. Ele tocou milhares e milhares de pessoas. E a maioria dos músicos que eu conheço agora, no Brasil, em grandes bandas, de alguma forma, ao menos um tamanquinho, o ritmo que foi criado, ou a bacurinha, o instrumento que ele criou, ou a maneira como ele está no palco, vem da sua inspiração. Então, ele é um fenômeno. Ele é um fenômeno, ele é um homem muito inspirado, ele é um homem muito carinho, ele foi uma honra para o encontrar ele na minha carreira. E eu não tenho dúvida de dizer que ele inspirou me por toda a forma como eu manejo com o Tribu em Londres. And now a lot of people want to join, so it's so it's a bit crazy, but it's going to be perfect. Why is it going to be perfect today? Because we are going to be perfect. So the t-shirts are 15 pounds each. Um, What's our sales strategy? What's our sales strategy? Sell, sell, sell. That's it. There's always faking. I can always <laughs> yeah. Imagine I'm a customer. Well, he's going to use this as a catwalk, so he's just going to strut his stuff up no, and down, like, and be like, two chairs for sale, yeah? Well, you know, we've got a very good model here. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, hello, guys. <laughs> Italian fashion. Yeah. The first day I saw him very close to me was very tricky. It was on the first year where we have these. Uh, audition. Que eles tinham uma regra que era vão desfilar 50 timbaleiros. And we have 55. E, e nesse dia, que era o dia desse teste, que era feito com o um assistente da timbalada, com, com um outro músico, justamente nesse dia o Carlinhos Brown foi lá. We heard the sound from far away. And then I saw a jeep come very close. And that time, the guy who has a jeep 
or someone that really has money, someone that really couldn't forward it because it's a long time ago. And then slowly I see this car come closer, come closer, he reverse and backward to us. And then he opened the back of the Jeep and the sound come out louder. Boom, boom, boom. And he dropped from the car. And then I saw him say, wow, that's Carlinhos Brown. Tinha o Marcos e mais uma, um outro. É... E o Carlinhos Brown, opa, opa, tudo bem? É... Como está aí? O que está que acontecendo? Tem algum problema aí? Aí o, o assistente falou, olha, estou é... aqui, eu não estou conseguindo resolver, porque um toca, o outro toca, eu estou aqui escolhendo quem é que vai. Aí o Carlinhos Brown falou, então vai, toca aí. E aí eu start shaking my hands and my legs. E eu falei, oh my God, oh my God, what's going to be? E ele just say, ok, play tamanquinho. E then um, dois, três, quatro. E blum, os dois tocaram, os dois tocaram, tocaram, o Carlinhos ficou ouvindo e falou, esse ano vamos desfilar 51. Eu achei isso fantástico, assim, achei de uma generosidade muito grande, de uma honestidade muito grande, e isso mostra o, o, muito mais o comprometimento dele acima de qualquer regra que ele mesmo crie. Né? <risos> The most important part of Carlinhos Brown on the Samba Ray conception was the shift, was the change, was the possibility to bring instrument that usually not being there, Bacurinha he creates, parade three suits on the stand, never have before. Um, and and uh, Guido, Metal Guido, we have in Chimalada, Gobel, uh, Shakes. He brought a lot of indigenous perception, the sound, and also the breaks, the complexity of the breaks. And I, I, I'm, I personally believe that he brought a lot of influence of Jimbe breaks for Mandinga uh, type of music. He brought a lot of stuff that wasn't simple for four, but very syncopated breaks. That was fantastic. That's what attracted me to the Chimbalada. And also, uh, the, 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 the perception of play different grooves, like Jexá Fanqueado, uh, like Merengue, like Frevo. When Sérgio Mendes came with Carlinhos Brown and it made collaboration to do Timbalada, all this stuff was very creative, very uh, new, something very inspirational, something that never, no one couldn't hear it before. The way how the melody was applied on the top of the drums, the way how the drums get through the rhythm, was fantastic. So I think the, the big contribution of Carlinhos Brown for Samba Reggae was make the shift open for new possibility to come in. Especially the Timbal, because at that time we don't have Timbais on the Samba Reggae group. So Carlinhos Brown introduced Timbal and now is one of the most important instruments in any Brazilian band when we talk about Samba Reggae. <laughs> I think the best way for you to honor someone is not wait for the past way, but giving life because he can realize how the legacy, what has been passed for the people, and he can be continued to do what he's doing. And then also get, I hope people that watch what we're doing here get inspiration, not just for music, but anything in life. You can start anything at any time and achieve your goals if you really persist, if you really get like concentrated and focus on what I want to do. <laughs> Quando eu acendo o incenso, primeiro eu tenho que pedir licença ao dono da rua e eu tenho também que proteger o lugar onde eu estou e as pessoas que estão à minha volta para que tenha uma boa energia, para que as pessoas vejam que elas podem ficar ali seguras espiritualmente.
preparing for? Sorry? How long have you been preparing for? Oh, well, really over the last two, almost three months. What's been the biggest challenge? The big challenge? Yeah. Just getting everybody organised, <laughs> making sure that everyone gets where they're supposed to go in at the right time, making sure that everyone arrives at rehearsals, takes that very seriously, which everyone does, and the playing's getting more and more polished. So, just the usual everyday organisational challenges for any event, really. So I wrote the initial grant for the Arts Council. It was a collaboration, but basically I wrote most of it. It was usually going to be for Notting Hill Carnival, but then it got cancelled, so we decided to do this big event at the Tabernacle. And so part of it has been rehearsing a new song that we're going to perform today, and also to teach a lot of community workshops in, in schools and with people with learning disabilities, and that's been really fun. We've been doing that for the last six weeks. You can see how they, they really express joy and they really enjoy it they, and we finish a class and they always want to keep going and then you see people gain confidence you know sometimes they just play very quiet they're not sure what they're doing and then but then week after week you can see they're more confident and then and then now we're doing some uh, creativity sessions where they just kind of make up their own patterns and then just come up with new stuff so yeah it's, it's really inspiring to see them perform and then play yeah. My name's Jan, Jan Henderson. I'm one of the four directors of Trebo. We all pulled together to, to get this project done. And I'm proud that everyone came together. It wasn't just the four of us that pulled it together. It was us plus all of the helpers from Trebo, like your good self, um, Iransu, Helena, Rachel, um, Becky. Literally, almost everybody did something to help us. So. For that I'm really grateful. Well, and I mustn't forget Annie as well, because Annie is the backbone of Trebo. Some people pulled out uh, because of COVID illness, etc. But we actually had more bands uh, come in at the last minute to support us, which I think was lovely. Um, so I'd like to thank Demba particularly for the most amazing djembe and African drumming from Senegal. <laughs> Part of the tribute to Carlinhos Brown was creating a new song which Ale Ferreira and Marco Santana as a composer. Tudo como eu realmente gosto de que seja, bem natural, sabe? Tava tocando violão na cozinha e de repente ele ouviu alguma coisa no meu violão. I was in the living room and felt that's the chord. That's the key we're looking for. Aí ele cantou e cantou com música e letra dessa parte. O mestre me ensinou a tocar tambor. E foi da, 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 e can, e falando outras coisas, eu falei, opa, o que, que é isso aí? Aí peguei, vamos gravar isso. Então eu, eu escrevi todo o texto, depois de assistir O Milagre do Candial, e, e fui, fui experimentando, fui experimentando, e surgiu o Caboclo Maracaia, que tem dois nomes, né? Para mim é Caboclo Maracaia, Gueto Square, porque o Gueto Square é o nome da praça onde tudo isso aconteceu. Né? For me, what I do honor 
And what I do admire is the fact that Brazilian people or the diaspora in general, they come from a, a journey of a very painful obstacle. And despite that, they were always able to, uh, to pass beauty. And I do believe that to do that, to have the strength to do that, you have to create um, a stillness inside you. There is something stronger than the external events that is going, is push you to keep going, is push you to, um, to is supporting you uh, during the journey. And I do believe that to create a movement like Carlinhos Brown did, or Marcus Santana work, or each of us doing here, it's about finding the stillness inside you and be able to manifest into the reality. Querido filho, eu gostaria de falar a língua de vocês melhor para dizer que a celebração é você, é essa gente interessada pela cultura da percussão, pela cultura mundial. Eu estou aqui feliz com esse Jexá, com toda essa poesia, com tudo que vocês fizeram, viu? Diga essa turma aí que nós estamos em celebração sim, do dom de Deus da vida e vocês são incríveis. Beijo, muito obrigado, viu?